evening to all of you. I welcome you all again for our lecture number 5 today of the MCQ series. I welcome you all on the platform of Sawal classes for the preparation of the master cater exam. So, uh, today we are going to start our fifth session of the MCQ series and before sta uh, starting that I would like to wish you all a very good luck and uh, I am seriously saying this that I have been feeling very happy since the day we started with this MCQ series that uh, when I get the right answers from your side, I feel so happy that you all have been working so hard and you all are preparing so well that the answers keep coming and keep flowing so quickly and every time the right answer. When the, the, the question is not new to you, right? And even if it is new, many of you know it, okay? So, you, it means it shows that you are like working so hard. Uh, and my good luck to you again that for the preparation and keep doing it every day, okay? So, only that thing uh, will keep you confident and will help you uh, Grant a, uh, grab a position and I am sure that most of you are really going to get that position. So, before starting, there is inf information for all of you that uh, uh, our paid groups are going on in, our, uh, in so many subjects uh, like you can see on your screens. So, if you want to join any of the groups, if you want to join any of the groups, just be subject ka jin mein aapko aapke exam ke mutabik jo hai proper material provide kiya jata hai to wo aap join kar sakte hain aur agar aap join karna chahte hain to you just have to call deepak sir on this number okay agar aap paid group join karna chahte hain to aap deepak sir ko is number pe jo hai contact kar sakte hain aur english ka jo hamara paid group hai naya wala jo paid group hai hum wapas shuru karne ja rahe hain bahut jald uh, most probably from the 16th of June. So, if you have any interested students, you can enroll in the Deepak Sir. We will have English literature paid group. We will be able to provide MCQs in MCQs. We will be able to provide your exam preparation. Okay? So, let's start with our questions. So, uh, the first question for today is. First question for today is Which group comprised these four writers? Samuel Richardson, Henry Fielding, Lawrence Stern, Tobias Smollett. Which group was made? Or who was the name of 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 the or we can say that how these four writers were famous. Yes. Answer is right. It is option B. Four wheels of knowledge. Very good. Then moving on to question number two. Question number two. Arzu, I'll answer your question in uh, our paid group. Okay? This is a free lecture, you all know, and it will be watched by many. So, A Good Man is the subtitle of the novel. Kiska subtitle hai A Good Man? Pamela ka, Clarissa Harlow ka, Sir Charles Grandison ka. Yes, it is option C. Sir Charles Grandison, right? Then question number three is, who is the writer of a journey from this world to the next? Who is the writer of a journey from this world to the next? Henry Fielding, Samuel Richardson, James Joyce or Virginia Woolf? Who is the writer of a journey from this world to the next? Henry Fielding, Samuel Richardson, James Joyce or Virginia Woolf? A journey from this world to the next. 
हाँ जी स्टूडेंट आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द राइट आंसर ओनली फ्यू हैव आंसर इट राइट इट फील यू आर कंफ्यूज बच्चे दिस इज रिटन बाई हेनरी फील्डिंग हेनरी फील्डिंग है इस वर्क के राइटर अ जर्नी फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज इन विच पॉइम डू यू फाइंड दीज लाइन्स कॉल एस वट यू विल वी आर मेड सच बाय लव द रेलिक फ्ली वेलिडिक्शन मॉर्निंग और द कैनाइजेशन इन विच पॉइम डू यू फाइंड दीज लाइन्स कॉल एस वट यू विल वी आर मेड सच बाय लव द रेलिक फ्ली वेलिडिक्शन फॉर बिलिंग मॉर्निंग और द कैनाइजेशन These are the very famous lines from Dunn's poem. है ना आपको नाम तो ये देख के पता ही लग रहा है लग रहे हैं कि ये Dunn की poems है है ना पर ये lines किस poem में आती हैं? They appear in the canonization. Canonization में आती हैं बच्चे ये ठीक है Canonization में okay? Then we move ahead with question number फाइव And question number five is, with whom Dido is about to get married before meeting Aeneas? किसके साथ शादी करने वाली होती है Dido जब Aeneas से वो मिली नहीं होती? Iapus, Astyanus, Ascanius or Mercury? With whom Dido is about to get married before meeting Aeneas? Yes, very good. You all are right. It is Iapus. Then question number six is who marries Grace Wellborn at the end of the play Bartholomew Fair? किसकी शादी होती है Grace Wellborn के साथ Bartholomew Fair में? Quarles, Ovidu, Winby for trouble all. Quarles, Ovidu, Winby or trouble all. Yes, it is option C. Win wife marries well, uh, Grace Wellborn at the end of the play Bartholomew Fair. Who said this about John Donne? किसने कही ये बात John Donne के बारे में? Donne had no imagination, but as much wit, I think, as any writer can possibly have. Praise में कहा कि जो जितनी विट जॉन डन के पास है ही सेड आई डोंट थिंक दैट एनी राइटर कुड पॉसिबली पोजेस दैट विट दैट इंटेलेक्ट जॉन ब्राइडन अलेक्सेंडर पोप सैम्यूल जॉनसन और जी बी शॉ हां जी हु सेड दिस अबाउट जॉन डन so i can see that it is new to all of you but it was said by alexander pope alexander pope said this about john dun theek hai so wherever you have noted down all the things related to john dun this is a very important quote so note it down there okay so note it down question number 8 8 now which is the last novel written by henry fielding last novel written by Henry Fielding. Last novel कौन सा था Henry Fielding का Amelia, Tom Jones, Shamila या Joseph Andrews. Oh yes, very good. You all know it very well. It is Amelia. Amelia was the last novel written by Henry Fielding, right? Then question number nine. By whom the term poetaster is coined? Ben Jonson, Erasmus, Spencer, or Samuel Johnson? Who coined the term poetaster? Ben Jonson, Erasmus, Spencer, or Samuel Johnson? Yes, very right, students. It was coined by Erasmus. ये poem जो है Ben Jonson की है बच्चे, ठीक है? ये poem Ben Jonson की है. 
लेकिन टर्म को कॉइन करा था इरास्मस ने ओके देन मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन फॉर विच प्ले ऑफ हिज जॉनसन सेट दिस I hope to give people their money's worth. अपने किस प्ले के लिए जॉनसन ने ये बात कही I hope to give people their money's worth. Did he say this about Walpole, Janus, Bartholomew Fair or Catelyn? हां जी किस प्ले के लिए बोला जॉनसन ने ये अपने रीडर्स को Walpole, Janus, Bartholomew Fair or Catelyn? Yes, very good, very good. So all the right answers are coming. He said this about Bartholomew Fair, right? He said this about Bartholomew Fair. Next is what is the name of Annie's son? Annie's के बेटे का क्या नाम है? Ascanius, Ganymede, Iobus, or Jupiter? What is the name of Annie's son? Ascanius, Ganymede, or Iobus, or Jupiter? Yes, it is but easier, right? It is but clear to all of you, है ना? Ascanius was the son of Aeneas, without any doubt. Then question number twelve, we move on to in which play of Ben Jonson Shakespeare played a role? Because there was a confusion among students. So that is why I added it as a question into the MCQ so that your questions, your confusions, like they are sorted out. Every man in his humor or every man out of his humor. This is Shakespeare ne role play kia. Yes, out of his humor. It was in every man out of his humor. Yes. Now, मुझे लगता है कि आप सबको जो है ये चीज़ याद रखे रहेगी. आप लोग कभी भी नहीं भूलेंगे, है ना? Then we move on to our question number 13. What Aeropagus actually is? From where Milton derived the name of his pamphlet Aeropagatica. Aeropagus actually kya hai? Jaha se Milton ne ye title uthaya Aeropagatica ka. Is it a hill in Athens, a city in Gre Greece? It should be Greece, sorry. City in Greece. Or is it name of God? Kya hai Aeropagus? Is it name of a God, a city in Greece or is it a hill in Athens? Yes, very good. The right answers are coming. And it is a hill in Athens. Very good, bache. Very good, bacho, all of you. So, now we move on to our next set of questions. And... The question number 14 is, in which year was the second version of Dr. Foster's published? Dr. Foster's two versions were published in two versions. What year was the second version published? 1606, 1604, 8 or 16? In which year was the second version of Dr. Foster's published? Sixteen zero six, sixteen zero four, eight or sixteen. Sixteen zero four. Me first version aaya tha bache. Then second version came in sixteen hundred sixteen. Yes, Manpreet, you are right. It was published in sixteen hundred sixteen. Okay. Then, right Aman, Amanjo Chahal, you are right, Bache. Then, question number 15. What is the other title of the play The Tempest by William Shakespeare? The Magical Island, The Enchanted Island, or The Haunted Island? The Tempest ka dusra kya naam hai? Ek aur naam se ye drama jana jata hai. The Magical Island, The Enchanted Island or The Haunted Island? Yes, it was The Enchanted Island. 
right then question number 16 in which play by shakespeare the famous balcony scene appears in which play by shakespeare the famous balcony scene appears all's well that ends well the tempest romeo and juliet or midsummer's night dream the tempest romeo and juliet or midsummer night's dream it is from the romeo and juliet the balcony scene is taken from the romeo and juliet which we see in so many advertisements and in many or, or dramas whose speech begins in this manner in julius caesar friends romans and countrymen lend me your ears whose speech begins in this manner in julius caesar mark antony cassius brutus or caesar whose speech begins in this manner in julius caesar mark antony yes very good students it is mark antony right kyunki mark antony aur brutus ke almost similar similar si jo hai ye speeches hai thoda sa fark hai theek hai then we move ahead with uh, yes there is an information for all of you uh, ki whatsapp group hamare jo hai free chal rahe hain aur agar aap unko join karna chahte hain jahan pe aapko स्टडी मटीरियल टाइम टू टाइम प्रोवाइड करवाया जाता रहेगा तो यू जस्ट हैव टू टाइप योर नेम आपका मास्टर केडर का जो सब्जेक्ट है और उसको व्हाट्सएप कर दीजिए दीपक सर के नंबर पे एंड ही विल एड यू इन दैट व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप जहां पे आपको ये एमसीक्यूज लेक्चर्स के लिंक्स और जो पीडीएफ है यू विल गेट टोटली फ्री ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट मैसेज एंड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस चाहे जो भी आपका सब्जेक्ट है मैथ्स है साइंस है पंजाबी है हिंदी है उसी सब्जेक्ट के ग्रुप में प्रोवाइड करेंगे और उसी सब्जेक्ट से रिलेटेड जो मटीरियल है PDFs हैं, वो आपको प्रोवाइड होएंगे। ओके सो वी मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 18। टू होम लेडी मैकबेथ से फॉलोइंग येट डू आई फियर दाई नेचर इट इज टू फुल ऑफ द मिल्क ऑफ ह्यूमन काइंडनेस लेडी मैकबेथ किसको बोल रही है ये बात येट डू आई फियर दाई नेचर इट इज टू फुल ऑफ द मिल्क ऑफ ह्यूमन काइंडनेस थैंक यू मैकबेथ डंकन और मैलकम Yes, she says this to Macbeth. क्योंकि वो उसको बोलती है कि मुझे तुम्हारे नेचर का पता है तुम्हारे अंदर बहुत काइंडनेस भरी है तुम डंगर का मर्डर नहीं कर पाओगे Then question number 19 is, what is the reason behind Pamela's popularity? First epistolary novel, first novel in English. English, it is like you can just delete it. right it is mistakenly written again first novel written in english a controversial novel both a and b both a and c or both b and c it was first epistolary novel in english first novel in english kaun sa option sahi hai isme se both a and b both a and c or both b and c yes bachche it is both a and b ये इंग्लिश में लिखा फर्स्ट एपिसलरी नॉवल भी था और फर्स्ट नॉवल था इंग्लिश का इसलिए देखो जब हम फोर व्हील्स ऑफ नॉवल की बात करते हैं तो सैम्यूल रिचर्डसन का नाम सबसे पहले आता है ठीक है रिचर्डसन का नाम सबसे पहले आता है व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द फोर व्हील्स ऑफ नॉवल राइट देन वी मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इन हाउ मेनी बुक्स इज जोजफ एंड्रूज रिटर्न जोजफ एंड्रूज कितनी बुक्स में लिखी हुई है Two, three, four, or five. 
In how many books is Joseph Andrews written? Two, three, four, or five? Yes, very good, Bacho. Very good. It is written in four books. Joseph Andrews is written in four books. Right, very good. Who is the beloved of Joseph Andrews in the novel? Fanny Goodwill, Mrs. Slipslop, Lady Booby, or Pamela? Who is the beloved of Joseph Andrews? Sapnam, I will answer to your question soon. Right? Yes, it is Fanny Goodwill. Right. Very good. You all are right. She is Fanny Goodwill. Right. Then, question number 22. We move on to question number 22. And the question number 22 is, why does Spoilers and Win Wife try to win a world and marry Dame Pure Craft. Because she is a very beautiful woman, because she is a wealthy woman, because she is pure and chaste. Why does Quarles and Winwife try to win over and marry Dame Pure Craft? Because she is a very beautiful woman, she is a wealthy woman, and she is pure and chaste. Yes, you all are right because she is a wealthy woman, right? Then, question number 23. Who persuades Dido to love and get married to Anus as part of her own plan? Kaun Dido ko encourage karta hai ki haan tum Anus ko hi pyaar karo aur usse shadi karo? Erbus, Venus, Anna or Genemede? Who persuades Dido to love and get married to Anus as part of her own plan? Yes, it was her own sister, Anna. Anna, Dido's own sister. Because she loved Airbus. Because she Airbus. Then, question number 22, 24 is repeated, bache. Then question number 25 is, what is the sub yanar of Joseph Andrews? What is the sub yanar of Joseph Andrews? Is it an epistolary novel, Picarus novel, historical novel or sentimental novel? What is the sub yanar of Joseph Andrews? Yes, very good. You all are answering it correct. It is a Picarus novel because it involves the adventures of a rogue, a person who travels from one place to another. Okay, sometimes disguising himself. Okay, kuch adventures ke liye ya kabhi kuch reason ho sakta hai. Jaise yahan pe uh, Joseph Andrews jo hai, wo bhatak raha hai. Okay, ek, ek jaga se dusri jaga aur raste mein uske saath jo bhi cheeze hoti hai. Hai na? From which writer Fielding drew the inspiration of writing Joseph Andrews? Cervantes, Henry Ibsen, or Shakespeare? Kisse prerna mili thi Fielding ko Joseph Andrews likhne ke liye? Kisse inspired hua tha Fielding? Cervantes se, Henry Ibsen se, ya Shakespeare se? Ache, you can just note it down with your notes that he was inspired from Cervantes. Or Cervantes ka konsa work? Don Quixote. Don Quixote bhi ek Picarus novel hai. Bada hai famous Picarus novel. Jiske baare mein ye kaha jata hai. Ki agar Bible ke baad, jo dousre number ki sabse bikne wali kitab hai, wo hai Don Quixote. So, Don Quixote se inspiration mili thi Fielding Co. Joseph Andrews ek Picarus novel ke form mein likhne ke liye. Right? Then, we move ahead with other set of questions and question number 27 is 
the subtitle of which novel gets completed with these words kaun se novel ka subtitle is tarike se complete hota hai the history dash dash a foundling joseph andrews shamela tom jones or pamela किस नॉवेल का सबटाइटल इस तरीके से कंप्लीट होता है द हिस्ट्री यस इट इज ब्लैंक में क्या आएगा ऑफ टॉम जोन्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज यस यू ऑल आर राइट यू ऑल नो इट वेरी वेल इट इज टॉम जोन्स द फाउंडलिंग है ना हु सेड टॉम जोन्स इज हाईली ऑर्गेनाइज्ड नॉवेल किसने बोला ये टॉम जोन्स के बारे में दैट इट इज द हाईली ऑर्गेनाइज्ड नॉवेल सी एस इलियट सैम्यूल जॉनसन जी बी शॉ और ड्राइडन हु सेड टॉम जोन्स इज अ हाईली ऑर्गेनाइज्ड नॉवेल सी एस इलियट सैम्यूल जॉनसन जी बी शॉ और ड्राइडन हां जी I have got one correct answer. बच्चे it was said by T. S. Eliot. Okay? T. S. Eliot ने तारीफ में कहा था ये. Yes, yes. It was said by Eliot. Right. Some of the students are right. Very good to them. You have read about it. Then, in which year was Richard Sons? Novel Pamela published. किस ईयर में पब्लिश हुआ था पैमिला हां जी Yes, बच्चे इट वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन 1740. 1740 में पब्लिश हुआ था सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट यस दे हैव गॉट इट राइट एब्सोल्यूटली राइट वेरी गुड टू ऑल ऑफ यू देन मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी इन विच यूर फीलिंग्स जॉनिथन वाइल्ड द ग्रेट वॉज पब्लिश 1742, 1740. 1743 or 1747 in which year fielding's jonathan wild the great was published 42 40 43 or 47 han ji yes 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 very good you all are getting it right it was published in 1743 then question number 31 to whom fielding dedicated amelia fielding ne apna novel amelia kisko dedicate kara tha g littleton litton stretchy or richardson fielding ne kisko dedicate kara tha apna novel amelia G. Littleton, Litton Stretche, or Richardson. Some of the students have got the answer right. Yes, he dedicated it to G. Littleton. And if you have not read about it. or it is not noted anywhere so note it down with your notes okay then question number 32 question number 32 we move on to who tries to seduce who tries to seduce pamela in the novel pamela or virtue rewarded mr k mr x mr b or mr z Who tries to seduce Pamela in the novel Pamela or Virtue Rewarded? Yes, it is Mr. B. Right, very good. It is Mr. B. 
Very good students, you have got the answer right. Then question number 33. On which books from the Aeneid Dido the Carthage Queen, the Queen of Carthage is based? Aeneid ki kaun si books mein se liya gaya jo source for Dido the Queen of Carthage? 1, 3 and 4, 2, 3 and 4, 3, 4 and 5, you can note down and 1, 2 and 4. Yes, it is. Option D is the correct one. 1, 2 and 4. During which period the Bartholomew? Yes, it is Mr. Booby, nephew of Lady Booby. Right. During which period the Bartholomew Fair began in London? 12th to 19th century. Then... 12th to, to 17th, then 13th to 19th. Hanji, during which period? 12th to 19th. Very good. You all have got the right answer from 12th to 19th century. Then we move ahead with question number 35. And question number 35 is in whose disguise? Cupid goes to prick Dido with his arrow of love. Jupiter, Anna, Ajax or Ascanius. Kiske disguise mein jata hai Cupid? Yes. Anis ke bete ke disguise mein. Hai na? Ascanius ke disguise mein. Okay? Question number 36. Which other name appears in the title of Joseph Andrews being an important character of the novel? Joseph Andrews ka jo complete title hai. Usme Joseph Andrews ke saath ek aur naam aata hai jo ki is novel ka important writer hai. Penny Goodwill, Abraham Adams, Pamela Andrews or William Andrews. Yes, it is Abraham Adams, who is a parson actually. Hai na? Aur bahut acha friend hai jo Joseph Andrews ka. Bache, I will explain Petrarchan sonnet. Let me finish first, right? Then, question number 37. Question number 37 is, In which poem by John Donne, the following lines appear. Yes, who forgot his script? Thapwane ke liye jara hota hai. Parson Adams apni script or goi bhool jata hai. In which poem by Dunn the following lines appear? Why my grave is broke up again? Some second guest to entertain. The canonization, the relic or the sun rising. Dunn ki kaun si poem mein se li gai hai ye lines or bohat famous poem John Dunn ki. But it is taken from the canonization, right? Sorry, not canonization. It is taken from the relic, the relic, right? Because here the poet is talking about this thing, that the lovers are lovers, okay? A dead body is found, a grave digger is digging a grave. And the dead body is found, and the dead body is found, and the dead body बालों का बना हुआ ब्रेसलेट जो है बना होता है and from that the grave digger realizes that it is the dead body is of a very true lover of of somebody who was involved in very pure and chaste love ठीक है तो वो उनकी बॉडी को निकाल के रेलिक रेलिक होता है जो सेक्रेड एक जो है रिमेंस होते हैं ठीक है कि कोई मूर्ति मिली जैसे मान लो है ना और उसको लेके मंदिर बना दिया तो उसको रेलिक बोला जाता है ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज द लास्ट वर्क ऑफ हेनरी फील्डिंग एंड विच एंड इन विच फॉर्म इट वॉज रिटर्न अमीलिया नॉवल वॉइस लिस्बन डायरी और टॉम जोन्स नॉवल विच वॉज द लास्ट वर्क रीड द क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली 
I have asked you the last novel already. But here I am asking which is the last work of Henry Fielding. See, you all are again answering it to me before reading the question properly. Before listening to me, I am even giving you the hint. Yes, it is Voyage to Lisbon. I am already telling you that you have already answered me. Why would I ask? The same question again. एक क्वेश्चन में गलती हो गई मुझसे मैंने दोबारा डाल दिया है ना तो द लास्ट वर्क इज वॉयज टू लिस्बन जो कि उसकी डायरी थी ठीक है देन वी मूव अड विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन टू विच पार्टी ड्राइडन बिलोंग अगेन दैट इज अ वेरी इजी ठीक है और मैंने वैसे ही डाल दिया सो दैट यू कैन Answer an easy question. Tory or Whig? Hanji, to which party Dryden belong? Yes, obviously it is Tory party. In how many volumes Pamela is written? Now hurriedly answer the last question. In how many volumes Pamela is written? Three, two, four, or five? In how many volumes Pamela is written? Three, two, four, or five? Anji, I'm waiting for the answers of the last question. I just got one few, four or five right answers till now. Okay, so. Just note it down carefully that Pamela was published in two volumes. It was published in two volumes, bache. Okay, so note it down carefully, right? Yes. Okay. So this is uh, the answer list which you will get with your PDFs. Yes. When she gets married to B, Mr. B. और उसकी जो एग्जॉल्ट हो जाती है अपलिफ्ट हो जाती है उसकी जो लाइफ है ना चेंज हो जाती है फ्रॉम अ सिंपल फार्म गर्ल फ्रॉम अ सिंपल मेड शी बिकम्स लाइक शी मैरिज मैरिज टू सच अ रिच मैन ओके सो फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट ऑन दीज नंबर्स राइट दीपक सर से कोई भी अगर आपको बात करनी है रिलेटेड टू पेड ग्रुप्स ठीक है और उनसे आप बात कर सकते हैं इन नंबर्स पे और इंग्लिश का हमारा पेड ग्रुप जो है वो बहुत जल्द जो है स्टार्ट होने वाला है होपफुली फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन जून तो उसको भी ज्वाइन करने के लिए जस्ट कॉन्टैक्ट दीज नंबर्स राइट सो नाउ आई एम एंडिंग द लेक्चर ऑन यस पेट्रार्कन सॉनेट बच्चे कल अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन करूंगी ओके सो बिफोर एंडिंग द लेक्चर आई हैव टू टेल यू दैट विच राइटर्स यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर टूमोरो so you can note them down that which writers you have to prepare for tomorrow and the writers are uh wait a minute yes so the writers for tomorrow which you have to prepare are william blake William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge right you will come prepared tomorrow with Blake Wordsworth and Coleridge these are the three poets you will keep you will be prepared with tomorrow and i will explain about petrarchan sonnet tomorrow only bachche brief mein thoda sa bata deti hu ki ye jo सोनेट है पेट्रार्कन सोनेट पेट्रार्क एक पोइट थे ठीक है हम इनकी राइम स्कीम्स वगैरह सब कर चुके हैं बच्चे ठीक है और आ, बस आ, नाम जहां से आया वो बेसिकली कहां से आया पेट्रार्क एक सोनेट थे जैसे शेक्सपियर इन सोनेट शेक्सपियर के साथ फेमस हुई और पेट्रार्कन सोनेट पेट्रार्क के साथ फेमस हुई और थोड़ा थोड़ा सा इनकी राइन स्कीम्स में फर्क है जो हम ऑलरेडी लिख चुके हैं याद कर चुके हैं ठीक है एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट ड्रामा यस बच्चे ड्रामा एंड प्ले इज वन एंड द सेम थिंग 
Drama is a yana which is meant to be performed on stage. Okay? Drama or play synonyms are. Right? And they are written on the stage to perform on the stage. Okay? And we talk about prose. So prose is a language. Okay? There is a novel, a essay, a short story. It is written in prose. प्ले भी प्रोज में लिखा जाता है पुराने टाइम पे लिखे जाते थे वर्स में पोइटिक लैंग्वेज में ठीक है तो उसको वर्स बोल दिया जाता था राइट तो बस इतना सा फर्क है ठीक है तो टुमारो यू कम प्रिपेयर्ड विथ लेक वर्डवर्थ एंड कोलरेज सो थैंक यू फॉर टुडे Keep preparing and keep working hard for your exams and my good wishes are always with you. Uh, so, here I end my lecture on this note and we'll meet again tomorrow, same time. So, all the best to all of you for your preparation and thank you so much again.